This is Twit. AMD has finally announced the the Ryzen 7 9800, the 9800X 3D gaming processor. And uh, apparently it's launching November 7th. So in about a week, not even a week from now. Um, now, how much of those are actually going to be available? I'm not sure, but that is that is the uh, that is the launch date. And I was going to talk about it when the uh, embargo was up. Yeah, so I guess that's the important thing to say here. We only have the announce. We don't have any benchmarks, so we don't know for sure how well it's going to perform. What it's going, you know, the the the, the how it's going to work. Whether it's going to be. There's, Jeff, there's been, Jeff may have some ideas. Uh. <laughs> well, this this is non-insider information. This, well, it is, but it comes from <laughs> places like uh, Linus else Tech Tips, first. J's two, from Liam J's Dull? two cents, um, places like that, and they kind of hint. Oh yeah, a lot of your gaming charts, the bars are going to look real small compared to what's coming. Huh. There's there's a lot of them going. Don't buy anything if you're gaming. Wait until this thing comes out. So I thought you said AMD wasn't focused on gaming right now. No, for their GPU driver. On the chip side, the hmm. the 9800 X3D is supposed to be about 25% faster overall. If you can believe the rumors, the embargo is still on, so we will we will see on the 7th when they all come out. But this is kind of Gen 2 of the X3D. Now people are going to say, wait, this is a third chip. Well, true, but both the, the 5800 and the 7800 had the cache above the cores. Now they're doing underneath and they're not getting the heating and they can have better cooling because the memory's in a different location through via connections. And it's, it's going to allow them to clock higher and push things a lot harder. And it's supposed to be a really good design. So th this is uh, from if, if, if the internet, not insider information, nothing insider is uh, to be believed, then don't buy any chips until if, if your main is, thing is gaming, if your production, yeah, get the 90, you know, get one of the, one of the 16 cores or you can oh, the new X, Intel. But. The X3D have done well on compiling too in the past, right? Like it's uh, not they like have. they're. It's not like they're bad chips for production. It's just th there's a few niche things, gaming being one of the big ones, where they just scream. Oh yeah, and and it just doesn't have the core. So like if you're hammering, right, right, you right. know, some modeling stuff, you know, get the ninety nine fifty X and just be happy. And I mean, and not like the other chips won't play games. It's just if you have a seven thousand series, for example then you're going to get, I think it's like a 5% uplift or 3% mm -hmm. in gaming. It's it's not really anything better. If you're doing production, it is better. Mm -hmm. And it, it, it does pretty good. The Intel chips, same thing. If you're doing production, yeah, the 285 does really well. It's less, less power, less heat, and crunches numbers just fine. If you're gaming, wait because, or stick to the uh, 14900K, because it's better for gaming than the new chip is. Mm -hmm. But this new 9800X3D is, if the rumors are to be, be believed, <clears throat> it's going to be the king of the heat by a long way. Yeah. And so, whatever number they've got on launch, it's not going to be enough. They're going to sell out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. <clears throat> so it's not going to be and, really expensive? Uh, the, uh, it went up a little bit. The The MSRP is 479 which particularly if you can just do a drop-in replacement on your existing rig, that's not bad at all. I mean, that's cheaper than I paid a few years ago when prices were just coming down. Yeah. <laughs> or whatever it was at the, that time. The thing with this one, though, I'm sure, is it's going to get scalped for a while. Oh, yeah. And, and so, you know, you won't be able to get, you won't be able to buy one for 479 for several months, I'm sure. Um, yeah, they're, they're going to sell out of everything. And there's a reason... If you look right now, if you're in the mood for like a 9950X or any of the regular 9000 non-X3D chips, they're all down about 50 bucks plus right now. Mm. You, there's some screaming deals because they're trying to move some chips because when they know when that thing releases, 
the average public is not going to look at those chips again. Yeah. Yeah. Un- unless you're, again, unless you're doing compute or something like that. Where you need a bunch of cores. Or, or yeah. you're building yeah. a budget system. Or your real budget. Yeah. Those are the two places where the rest of them make sense. Yeah. All right. Well, let's but, e- move. but even then, you might go to the 7000 series if you. Yeah. True. If your budget. Hey, it's Leo Laporte. I hope you've enjoyed this little clip from our programming at twit.tv. For more, visit our website, twit.tv, or subscribe in your favorite podcast client. There's also a link somewhere down there. <laughs>